change of tone now because if I said to you under the moon of love or dancing party you'll probably think about one of the biggest bands of the 70s and the 80s and indeed carrying on <laughs> Shawadi Wadi and we're delighted to say we're joined in the studio by founding members singer Dave Bartram and drummer Romeo Challenger. Good evening. Good evening and welcome to you both. Great to have you here. The band who are from the Midlands have reached a very big milestone but before we hear from them let's look back on the glory days of Shawadi Wadi. Time to get your dream pipes on, cause here's Shawaddy Waddy. Sweet, sweet music. Nearly 15 years after the original American rock and roll explosion, this band from Leicester brought the style and the sound back to life. The group's high-energy performances and retro outfits grabbed the nation's imagination and hit followed hit. <laughs> Among their achievements, a run of seven consecutive top five hits, with ten singles reaching the top ten and 23 breaking into the top 40. <laughs> but the biggest hit of all? Well, that was Under the Moon of Love. It broke records, selling close on one million copies. The hits continued into the 80s, and even when they dried up, the band just kept on touring. Members came and went, but the driving drums, cracking guitar riffs, big brass notes, and sweet harmonies never grew old. the best of Shawadi Wadi there and I have to say while we were watching that Dave and Romeo you were both looking at it singing along <laughs> and we were looking at the hairstyles in particular weren't we <laughs> the good old days. yeah yeah don't mention hair <laughs> I, I had your hairstyle <laughs> we all had that hairstyle did you have a mouth of confetti <laughs> no I didn't, I didn't. Well. <laughs> but tell the days yeah well let's go back to that time actually yeah. because you were very smart you looked the part and, and it was a type of music really that people were able to sing along to and they could dance to as well, couldn't they? Well, well yeah, but, but the thing is, um, there were great songs, and they still are great songs, yeah. but, um, uh, you know, they, they were exposed to uh, the American audience first. Mm -hmm. Then, of course, people in, in Britain didn't know these songs whatsoever. And, um, of course, you know, like Dave and all the rest of the band knew those songs, and they were all suggested that, uh, you know, probably... Feel good. Yeah. yeah. They made people feel good. They made people get up on their feet. Yeah. They made people happy, ultimately. And I think we need a little bit more of that. And that's why the band are out doing a tour now. And Dave, you, you've stopped the singing. You manage now. Romeo, you still play the drums. I still play the drums, yeah. You, you, uh, you, you do the managing now. Do you miss the getting up on stage and Sometimes, doing songs? yeah. I don't miss the travelling, I have to be honest. But, uh, yeah, sometimes... Uh, who knows, you know, I might be tempted into... Uh, <laughs> having You're a bit of a warble sometime because this year. Because this is 50 know. years. It's 73, your first big hit. Yeah, indeed. Yeah, it's yeah. crazy, isn't it? 73, it, or was it, it really 74? Is. 74, March 74. But, yeah, uh, yeah the, the, the official sort of starting date, as it were, was September the 1st, 73. So mm -hmm. it is the 50th year this year, and uh, mm -hmm. the guys are out there celebrating it in style. <laughs> mm. And by the way, if you want to go to visit one of the, the shows on the tour, they're all going up on our website later. They have all the dates, so you can you can go and find out where they're going to be. Um, yeah, speaking of the tour, yeah, um, lots of our viewers have actually been in touch because they wanted to uh, talk about their memories of you guys. Oh, right. Um, and we've got some really lovely messages. Uh, this is from Sheila in Stone in Staffordshire, and she's got a brilliant story. She says, when I left school in 1971, I worked making men's suits. We received an order for Shawadi Wadi. I wrote my name in each of the trouser pockets and saw them on top of the pops i was so proud of myself i still love to hear their music top band in the day isn't that amazing oh, lovely memories that's of people i bet you wouldn't have even thought about that but she had her name in your pocket <laughs> <No>. <laughs> see that's what we used to do before you had selfies well, yeah, <laughs> yeah we couldn't get arrested actually when we we uh, tried to get our first set of suits made 
Nobody yes. wanted to know. Mm -hmm. Then when, we, when we'd had a couple of hits, everybody was kind of yeah. yeah. Well, the thing is, I'll have a look in, in the suits because I've still got one or two original ones. Have you? And I'll have a look and see if uh, your name's still there. Sheila. Sheila. Yeah. Sheila, OK, she yeah. Knows, so, yeah, she'll be delighted. Uh, yeah. and I've got one more for you. Sue uh, in West Bromwich says, uh, they used to pinch our drinks while performing, but after they would come to our table with more drinks and chat to us, happy memories. Did you have quite a good rapport with fans? Oh, we had a quite yeah. good rapport, but I don't think we nicked their drinks. <laughs> I think, I, think I, I might have done... Occasionally, I would get down into the audience and sing to somebody. And, have um, a swig of their... Yeah, yeah. sort of pre-Covid days, weren't they? Yeah. <laughs> we lived in different times yeah. then, didn't we? We certainly did, yeah. What, yeah. What's your favourite songs, then? I know we've all got our favourites, so we've been singing them to... My favourite single is I Wonder Why. I remember working really hard all night on that one and being really, really pleased and uh, being... a Big sort of self critic. Yeah. Uh, I thought that one. Quick, quick one, yeah. Romeo. Which Mine's, one? Is, um, you've got what it takes. You've got, oh, you've yeah. got what you've it got takes. What it yeah. takes. You know, I like Trocadero because I've got your albums. I'm a proper full on fan, so oh, yeah, right. here we are. Uh, yeah, anyway, listen, thanks so much for coming. Good luck with the tour. Pleasure to thanks be here. Thanks for 50 years of entertainment. Come along, sure. everybody. Come yeah. along and see the band. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's and get the bring forecast, those shall outfits we? as well. <laughs> Look forward to seeing those again. Thank you very much for being with us. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. Here's Amanda Houston.